Hi folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl giving you another quick Outlook tip of the day. If you're having difficulty setting up your uh, Microsoft Exchange in your Outlook profile, it may be because your Auto Discover uh, is set up correctly but it's not going to work on your computer. I'm going to show you how to do a manual setup and then I'll have another video next on how to install the hotfix to get it to work with Auto Discover. But for right now, we're going to go to the control panel in Windows and then go to Mail. And we're going to show profiles, click Add, we'll call this Lisa. And then this is when you usually can't get it to work. You'll notice it keeps giving you your offline or so there's some other errors. You need to go to Manual and hit Next. Then pick Exchange, go to Next. Your server is always outlook.office365.com. Oops. Your username is lisa at callthatgirl.biz or your client's email. Then you go to more settings. Then you go over to security. Now here's the problem that a lot of people have is if you do not have anonymous authentication, then you need to do a Windows update or you need to install the hotfix from Microsoft. And my next video will show that. But this has to happen. And then you go to connection, connect to the exchange using HTTP, click on the proxies. This is always the same as well, outlook.office365.com. Check use SSL, only connect, mssTD, colon, outlook.com, fast networks, and check basic. This is consistent across the board with all Office 365 Exchange accounts through Microsoft. Then hit OK and hit Apply. Just remember, security has to be anonymous. Hit OK and go up here and check the name. It'll talk to the servers. It'll ask for the password. And it underlines, that means the server's talking. Hit Next, Finish. Now you have a profile here and you can check which profile you always want to use. Click OK, Apply, OK, and you're done. As long as you see the underline, you know it's talking to the server. And then for the hotfix, my next video will show how to get that so you can download it and get it to work. Um, your first tip is to check Windows updates. That usually will fix it on its own. If you have any questions, feel free to call me at 612-865-4475. You can email me at lisa at callthatgirl.biz. I am for hire, and you can call me anytime, and I'll help you the best I can. Thank you.